So welcome aboard again. And uh, we're down here in Victoria. It is June the 12th. And uh, we're heading out tomorrow on the 13th, early in the morning. And going to be going out, uh, probably end up sailing to Bedwell. Uh, last time I was out, someone stole my crab trap. I think it was a commercial fisherman. And if you're watching this and you know who you are, uh, you can bring it back to Cool Change. I'll be at Angler's Anchorage Marina. Uh, sometimes that'll happen. If you put your traps too close to theirs, um, they don't like it, so they'll steal it. So I went out today and I got a new one, got new line and stuff. Um, and I bought a neat little gizmo today. Actually, I'll show you. Let me grab it. bought one of these standard horizon uh, VHF radios uh, with built-in uh, GPS excellent excellent thing uh, totally water submersible and it has a panic emergency button on it so if I fall overboard can't get back on the boat uh, boat sails away I hit a little red button it sends a message uh, to the Coast Guard it uh, says my longitude and latitude if I'm conscious I can punch in there whether my boats on fire or whether I'm drowning or or what the uh, nature of the emergency is and also any other boats that have this device uh, it'll uh, alert them as well in case they're closer than the Coast Guard. Uh, I paid $239 Canadian, well worth the money. Um, right now it's on the charger, I haven't had a chance to use it. Um, hope I never have to use the emergency GPS but if I do it's a great little thing to have. Um, also too, I've noticed on a lot of boats the uh, VHF radio is down below when you're out, uh, say, in a sailboat in the cockpit and you're sailing, you can't hear it. And especially if you're by yourself and there's a mayday call or something, you wouldn't be able to hear it. It's nice to have a little unit like this uh, with you. Um, you can uh, hook it right to your life, uh, life vest. You can hook it right to your belt, whatever. And it's right there. And if you need to uh, hear a weather update or anything like that, you don't have to go down below. So well worth the investment. Anyways, I recommend everyone out there, uh, I don't care how long you've been sailing, I don't even care if you're a sailor, if you're out there on a little boat or something doing some fishing. Get one of these, it'll save your life. Um, I feel much more confident that I have this now. So anyways, just wanted to bring that to your attention. So tomorrow's a big day. Tomorrow we're heading out. Uh, hope the winds are good like they are now. Uh, I want to head to down the street of Juan de Fuca and uh, get out in some open water a bit. Still not open blue water sailing taking it step by step. I uh, don't want to handle, take on too much more than I can handle. But uh, the winds are supposed to be howling out there and yet I'm close enough to land that I can you know, sneak into uh, you know, the inner harbor in Victoria or Soup Basin or something like that. Uh, I'm going to spend the night um, somewhere down there on the southern tip of uh, Vancouver Island. And so I'll show you uh, my morge there. And it should be interesting. And I uh, might even uh, venture out uh, to the west coast of Vancouver Island uh, near Port Renfrew on the way to uh, Tofino, Yakula, that sort of thing. And, um, and uh, see what it's like on that side. That's more open, uh, getting into some blue water and uh, see what that's all about. Um, I've been out in some rough weather just out here in Howe Sound and uh, lots of fun. But uh, it could be scary too, so you got to sort of take it step by step. But we'll talk to you tomorrow. I'll let you know how it goes. Good morning. It is, what time is it? It's the 13th of February at about uh, 5 to 9. Been out for about an hour now. And uh, wind started off good, died right down. Uh, what you're seeing there after the boat is Sydney, uh, just near Victoria, British Columbia. And uh, we got cloudy skies, but it's supposed to burn off here in the next couple hours and get some decent winds this afternoon. Doing about five and a half knots. Uh, winds are about uh, 10 knots and things are great. Finally got some wind this morning. Uh, we're sailing up uh, to just uh, what you're looking at over there, Salt Spring Island. And, uh, and you can see over the coast there. So we got Lady Smith over there. And then uh, that's where we were. Too fast to fish. Got the fishing line in. This, this is some Neil Young. Some boats out there. Things are great. Skies are slightly overcast, um, but still it's probably about, I don't know, plus 15. So hopefully these will burn off in the next hour. It's around noon. Lots of sailboats out enjoying the enjoying the weather. And we'll get a shot of me. Hey. 
<laughs> so things are going great, and uh, I don't know what we're going to do. We're going to head up to Montague. We're going to do some anchoring and stuff, uh, maybe practice some docking. We'll see how it goes. I bought a new crab trap, so I'll be setting that tonight, and uh, that'll be the end of that story. So, yeah, we we're in 169 feet of water, and my GPS stopped working, so good thing I bought my handheld. It's always good to have a backup. So, uh, yeah, enjoying the trip, and um, any of you people in the world who want to experience Gulf Islands, this is a place to do it right here. It's, uh, you can rent uh, lots of uh, sailboats here, and uh, that is it. So, take care. We'll talk to you soon.